Let's show the camera. <laughs> I'm trying. Gross. There you go. Yeah, you yeah. can see it. There is more, but you know, that's what's on there for now. And first of all, what I'm putting on you right now is numbing cream, okay? <laughs> so I'm just gonna start putting the numbing cream everywhere. So I'm gonna put saran wrap over um, everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, what this does is it helps to penetrate the numbing cream more. Okay. So what's gonna happen is you might feel it a little bit more on your forehead, okay? Mm -hmm. um, but don't worry, like all the other areas are gonna continue to get numb. So as we're doing it, um, those other areas, like I said, they'll still be getting more numb and by the time I get some, you probably won't feel anything. All right, so specifically with microneedling though, so it does have 16 microneedles on it. Um, what happens is those microneedles within the microneedling, they basically cause like trauma to your skin. So as they're puncturing your skin on all the different areas, they're going in a different amount of penetration into your skin. So as it's doing that, what happens when it's causing that trauma to the skin, it basically makes your collagen or your skin cells all act up and acting well your skin cells get together because it's like your skin is asking them for help because it has trauma mm -hmm. so what happens is your skin cells will help build up or your body in general will help build up like new collagen because uh, microneedling is also known as collagen induction so what happens is it's going to be helping to stimulate and reproduce that collagen in your body so specifically on your skin it's going to be helping to reproduce that and as it's doing that it's going to help bring it back to that surface of the skin so as it's doing that it's going to be regenerating all that bad skin or where there's pigmentation scarring anything like that and it's going to help correct those issues slowly in each of those areas now of course after one session you can see a big difference but obviously getting more done is how you're going to get that overall difference that you're looking for you know yeah when i was doing some research on mm -hmm. youtube they were saying like three to four yeah so usually with everyone like it, it always depends on everyone but no matter what um within <clears throat> that amount of times that you're getting it done you're always gonna see a bigger difference in it getting better you get me mm -hmm. But everyone's skin's different. The way your skin heals is different. So with everyone, um, sometimes with one person, within one to two sessions, it can already be like exactly how they want it to be, you know? Mm -hmm. With other people, sometimes it might take a little bit longer because it's just the way your skin reacts as well, you know? Yeah. I'll be gliding it on your skin and everything. But at one point, I'm going to do something that's called the stamping technique. Mm -hmm. So when I do this stamping, that's really the only time that you're really, really going to feel it. And it might not feel that comfortable. It's basically like me stamping it on your skin. You get me? Yeah. I'll only do that on basically the specific areas of your skin um, that have that pigmentation on it. You get me? I'm do the stamping technique. Like I said, it might not feel that good. So this also creates pinpoint bleeding. Um, the pinpoint bleeding, there's nothing wrong with that. It's very normal. Um, also in any of the areas where I do do the stamping technique um, and just the microneedling in general, anywhere where you are having the pigmentation or scarring, um, as your skin's healing, you might see that actually looks darker and that's very normal because your skin is gonna slightly be peeling, okay? So when it looks like, if you see that it looks like it might look a little bit darker, that's very normal because it's starting the whole process and it will be peeling off, you got me? things for aftercare so obviously just very important to be using them because in general these next couple days so always at least two to three days after you get the actual service done yes your skin can get pretty red um it can feel irritated it can feel like very dry which is extremely normal um 
but no matter what within these next couple days you just want to make sure you're using all of that because it's going to help your skin heal quicker um and for it to feel better in general within the week after that your skin is healing is when it's very normal for your skin to seem like it's starting to peel a little bit <laughs> it's not going to peel like insane but it, you will experience like peeling to your skin which is very normal because it's just helping to shed off all that bad skin <laughs> But then that's really it. Like, that's what you should be expecting afterwards. Mm -hmm. And then again, today and the next couple of days, your skin might feel a little bit irritated, a little red, um, or it may feel uh, very dry. So you just want to make sure that you're also moisturizing like crazy because, of course, that will help you. Oh, another thing with the microneedling, as, I'm, as I was doing it, what I always use is stem cell, okay? So, you know. Mm -hmm. So the stem cell is what I like basically make penetrate into your skin. So right now with the oxygen dome, what happens is it is uh, putting pure ionized oxygen into your skin. Obviously you have the corrective mask on, but what happens is it's going to help that corrective mask to penetrate just a little bit more. But in general, oxygen is very, very amazing for us in general, for our skin, for our bodies, for literally everything. When it does come to this pure ionized oxygen that's going into your skin, the oxygen in general, when it is the pure ionized form for uh, any type of facial or skin concern, it is said that it can help specifically with any type of skin condition that really anyone could have. Whether that be very sensitive skin, eczema, rosacea, or is it will actually help with your salt turnover rate so that's the overall healing process of your skin So I just finished my microneedling. You could probably see like the little dots all over my face. She did all my extractions. Um, and then she gave me this bag, which has a cleanser, a toner, and a moisturizer to use for the next week. Um, the microneedling did not hurt. The extractions and like the massaging of the stuff afterwards had like the most discomfort, but the actual microneedling did not hurt. But as I always tell y'all, remind y'all, I do have a high pain tolerance. So like, but they use numbing cream, so I feel like it shouldn't hurt for y'all either. Um, so this is what my skin is looking like right now. But this is my skin right now. She said after four weeks is when you'll see like maximum difference. And so we will come back in four weeks and put this side by side so y'all can see